At least 32 people were killed yesterday in bomb attacks across Iraq. The deadliest incident took place in northeastern Baghdad when a car packed with explosives was detonated, killing 16 people and wounding 48. No group immediately claimed responsibility for any of the attacks. Iran's Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif defended the landmark nuclear deal between Iran and world powers as he handed over the nuclear agreement text to the country's parliament for review. Iranian parliament has set up a special committee for the review work and is expected to last more than 80 days. Ministers from 10 countries, including South Africa, gathered in Paris on Monday for a conference to appeal for the worldwide introduction of plain packaging aimed at deterring smokers. Australia, which became the first country to ban branded cigarette packs, is being closely watched for signs of success as other nations explore similar measures. Two miners were confirmed dead today, while 13 others were still trapped after a coal mine in the northeast of China was flooded on Monday. Mud has filled the coal mine, blocking some lanes. Rescue work is still going on at present. What may be the world's oldest fragments of the Holy Quran have been found by the University of Birmingham. Radiocarbon dating found the manuscript to be at least 1,370 years old, making it among the earliest in existence. The manuscript, written in Hijazi script, becomes one of the oldest known fragments of the Holy Quran.